Arachna is a new standalone character mod that revolves around spider familiars with the help of some unique mechanics that complement them. Her two main gimmicks are her own heart type called Web Hearts as well as her pocket item Arachna's Spool. The spool can be used to throw a web on the ground that slows your enemies. Killing an enemy on the web that has at least 10 HP will turn it into a spider egg. Clearing the room will cause all the eggs to burst and spawn friendly blue spiders for you. The spool item recharges over time, which means that you can create a good amount of spiders in each room if you are patient enough to kill all enemies while standing on webs. Arachna is very strong in the earlier parts of a run. Even a small army of spiders can destroy most floor bosses in seconds, so always try to save your little friends for the final fight. Let's talk about Arachna's unique HP pool now. She is not able to have any red hearts nor bone hearts, but she is not a pure soul heart character due to her unique web hearts. She can still pick up soul and black hearts, but all regular HP ups and bone hearts turn into web hearts instead, which will always be on the right side of your soul and black hearts. Web hearts break in a single hit just like rotten hearts, but when they do, they will also spawn some blue spiders for you. But there's more to it. The web hearts have another passive ability. The more of them you have, the more spiders will burst out of the eggs of your spool item. The web hearts may be hard to protect, but the more you have, the easier it will become to establish a huge spider army, which can snowball your run really fast. Arachna's web hearts will also be used for devil deals and take priority over her soul hearts, just like soul hearts do over red hearts for most regular characters. Arachna doesn't start with any items besides the spool, but she has a passive chance of firing a poison tier that is not affected by luck. The poison of those tiers takes two times for Arachna's damage stat plus 0.7. It is also worth to mention that her tiers are white, but they do not slow enemies. Now let's talk a bit more about Arachna's spool item. The Throne Spool deals 4.20 damage on hit and create the web when it hits an enemy, obstacle or the ground. It recharges itself over 3 seconds, so you can use it multiple times in the same room. However, you can only have one web out at the same time, so you have to replace it. You should always try to use the Spool as often as possible to slow down groups of enemies and turn as many of them into eggs as you can. The spider eggs will stay for the duration of the entire room, which means that you are not in a hurry. Take your time and maximize the amount of spider eggs. It is also worth to note that the slow effect works even on flying enemies, but keep in mind that the weaker foes like flies can't be turned into eggs. Bosses on the other hand are fully immune to Arachna's spool. The web won't slow them and they can't be turned into spider eggs as well. You may have already seen it in the earlier clips. The character also comes with new unique spider familiars that have abilities on top of the normal damage. Those special spider types can only spawn from the spider webs of Arachna's spool, but not from breaking her web parts. Red spiders will detonate on contact with an enemy, dealing 60 damage in radius without hurting Arachna. Green spiders will inflict a poison to enemies that takes 6 times for 2 damage each, which is fixed and not tied to Ragnar's stats. Yellow spiders will apply a slow effect on top of the regular damage that lasts for 20 full seconds. This is especially powerful against bosses where it works with the full effect. Black spiders simply deal the damage twice on contact, which also mimics the ability of the black locusts. White spiders on the other hand don't have a unique effect. This is because the white locusts also don't have one. There are also special golden spiders. Those can come out of spider eggs, but they can also be obtained by breaking a golden web heart created by picking up a gold heart. 
Golden spiders apply the Midas touch effect to enemies on contact, turning them into gold and making them drop a few coins on death. Pink spiders will charm enemies on contact, but the effect only lasts for 4 seconds, so don't feel too safe next to them. Light blue spiders will one-shot any regular enemy type and also freeze them in the process. The rare rainbow spider will also instantly kill every regular enemy on contact while releasing a colorful heart cloud. They will obviously not one-shot bosses, but they will always deal 12.5% of their current health as damage, which is still a lot. And last but not least, the big blue spiders. They deal half the regular spider damage on contact, but will then split into two regular blue spiders that deal the full damage each. Just like for regular blue spiders in the base game, Arachna spiders are not affected by the BFF's item, but the hive mind item will double the damage of all of them. Arachna's birthright effect is called more web, more friends, more health, and comes with three effects at once. The first ability simply allows her to have two webs on the ground at the same time, making it easier to slow the room. Spawning a third web will despawn the first one. The second part of the birthright, more friends, will guarantee one extra spider from spider eggs for each web part you have while the egg breaks. And the third effect, more health, will also add a chance to spawn new web parts from bursting spider eggs. The Arachna mod also comes with a tainted version of the character as well as over 20 unlocks. Let me know in the comments if you want me to cover all of them as well. He's the number one. Isaac! God's favorite son. His flowing rose reach down from heaven.